Just like water, conflict is something that moves through our lives, either creating beauty and innovation or causing damage, heartache, and even death. And because the cost of conflict is often difficult to get a handle on, I am going to take you on a short journey of how conflict acts like water and where it can cost us in our lives. I am Karen Valencic, founder of Spiral Impact. Here we go. This beautiful mountain river is a great example of natural or what I call innovative conflict. It is both energetic and peaceful. Moving, shaping, creating. Do you remember the last time you were by a river? How did you feel? Did you feel both energetic and calm at the same time? Believe it or not, you can feel that way in conflict. But now, let's explore when it's not working so great. Brace your eyes. Here we have a photo of a little drip from a pipe that would probably be in a crawl space or in a wall somewhere. And perhaps you've experienced that where you think you hear a drip, but you're not quite sure. And then you get busy and you forget about it. I correlate this with gut feelings that we've ignored or a complaint that is ignored that someone has said to us and we just assume it's not as urgent as that person does. So what happens? Boom! That distant drip left unattended pools lots of water and then bam you've got the ceiling falling in on you or something else pretty awful. And then there's the not so distant drip, the faucet drip. It's annoying but it's easy to ignore when there's a lot of other noise around. I correlate this with rude behavior in the workplace. Somehow we will excuse that as just part of what's happening without addressing it directly. There have been studies that show that 90% of people experience rude behavior in their workplace and half of those at least once a week. You may think, so what? Grow a thicker skin. But there is a ripple effect. And that ripple effect is that 63% of people will lose work time avoiding their offender, 48% will decrease their work effort, 25% admitted taking frustration out on their customers, 80% lose work time worrying about it, and 12% will leave. It's a pretty big ripple. And then there's a reoccurring puddle. Those things that keep happening over and over, and we have to keep mopping them up. There's a variety of, of studies out there that show that managers can spend from 18 to 40% of their time on conflict-related issues. If you just take their salary and take that off the top, that's how much money you're losing. And that doesn't even account for all the uh, residual effects of conflict, as we talked before, in the ripple effect. Also, senior management can spend 70% of their time in conflict-related issues, litigation over things that could have been prevented from the past, labor issues are some examples. And then there's the clogged drain, <laughs> where things get all stuck, water pools. And, you know, even minor rude behavior decreases creativity by 30% according to a study from the University of Florida. Can you afford that? At the time of this recording, I have no formal studies about how virtual communication has impacted conflict in the workplace. My clients universally say there's a whole lot more passive aggressive behavior. And I correlate that with like a flooded basement. There's, there's stuff going on and it's sitting there and it's gathering all kinds of yuck. And if you have people leaving your organization, that's an example of where those conflicts don't really get addressed and they're really easy to hide behind a Zoom screen. 
And here's the granddaddy of all the, the examples I have, which is a burst pipe. And that represents all those things that could have been prevented earlier at the drip phase when it was not so difficult. And now it cannot be ignored. It's right there and everything is just going down the drain. This causes litigation, recalls, public relations, brand management, and turnover can cost into the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. And it can cost your company uh, its life. So now the million dollar question is, how do you get back to the river? Let's pause for a second and look at this beautiful river and see if you can get back to that wonderful feeling of energized but yet peaceful feeling and know that you too can experience that as a way you deal with conflict. This ocean wave is very much like the river. It's both peaceful and energetic, moving, shaping, and creating in the form of a spiral. The good news is you too can be like the river and the wave when it comes to conflict. I call this method spiral impact, and it's evolved over almost three decades, and I'd love to share more about it with you. If you're intrigued, which I hope you are, I invite you to go to my website, spiralimpact.com. You can reach me from that website. You also can see some videos, how I demonstrate things, and there are many free resources that are on my resource page. Also, I have a best-selling book that was bestseller on Amazon my Black Belt edition of Spiral Impact, which really serves as a guidebook to how you can get it done with power and grace. So thanks so much for listening in here, and um, I hope our paths cross somewhere. Um, that's it for right now. Bye-bye.